Alright guys, welcome to the last tutorial in this mini-series where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to finish up, wrap up the code. we got one more function to take care of, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's actually go ahead and recap one last time all of our functions, and by all of them I just mean three of them. So this first function is going to get called whenever the website loads. It's pretty much going to make all of our variables. Now the second function is pretty much what's going to get called whenever we click that play button is either going to play the video or pause the video. Well it depends on the video if it's playing or paused already. And this last function right here, update, is basically going to change the size of that progress bar as the video is playing. So now the only thing we have left to do is, since we have the button and the progress bar taken care of, is we need to change where the video is playing from depending on if they click anywhere in this progress bar. For example, if the video is playing and it's almost complete right here and they click right here, then we want the video to start playing from around 25%. If they click right here, we want the video to start playing from 50%. So that's what we're going to be doing, and we're going to be adding a method called clicked bar. Now remember, that's the event listener that we put on the default bar. So let's go ahead and copy this so we don't, you know, accidentally type something wrong, and we'll make that function right now. So function clicked bar it actually takes a parameter called E. Now E is going to be the position of the mouse because we need to determine where our mouse is in terms of you know is it at 25 percent is it at 50 percent so we need to go ahead and pass that parameter in through right there. Now the very first thing I want to do is I want to check if the movie is playing because I only want this action to occur when the movie is playing. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an if statement and I'm going to go ahead and steal some of this code from right here. If my movie is not paused and if it has not ended then go ahead and copy that and paste that right there. So pretty much this is only going to work while the video is playing. So now what I want to do is I want to get the X position of the mouse because we don't need to determine if it's up here or down here. We just need to determine left and right because is the mouse at top or bottom, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. We just need to know if it's at the beginning or the end. And remember, for math class, X is left and right and Y is up and down. So the X position is the only position we care about. So make a variable and just call it something like mouse X and set this equal to, remember, the E what we're going to be passing in is the position of the mouse base. I'll, I'll just uh, type this guy, type this and then talk you guys through. E dot page X minus bar and I might as well offset left. So, okay, I don't want to talk to you guys about offset. Pretty much the offset left is how far away from the left is concerning in reference to this element. And remember, this bar right here is the default bar, is the yellow bar. Basically, before, I don't want to talk to you guys about all this stuff because you guys should know from my JavaScript tutorials. But what this does right here is it calculates the X position of the mouse and it stores it in a variable called mouse X. So now what we can do is we need to pretty much change the position of the mouse and convert it to the starting time where the video is playing. So let's go ahead and make a new variable and I'll call it new time. And what we need to do is we need to get that X position of the mouse again. So just go ahead and hit mouse X and what that's going to do is this is pretty much where it calculated that our mouse is. So now what we want to do is we want to multiply this by my movie duration and uh, don't there we go. I knew I had it somewhere. Way too lazy to type anything twice in a row. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to figure out where they click the mouse and we're going to multiply the multiply it by the duration of your entire movie. And if you take this entire value and put it over 600 or the entire size of your bar, which Mine is 600 as you can see right here, but uh, depending on your video player, it may be a little different. You can even put 600 like that, but who wants to do that? What it's going to do is it's going to give you a new starting time. So don't really worry about this formula. Just go ahead and copy it. 
what you need to worry about is this new time right here is it's pretty much going to take where you clicked on the mouse and convert it into a new starting time for that video. So now you want to say, okay, instead of starting from the beginning, just start playing this video wherever I clicked. So if I clicked here, it's going to play, you know, one minute in. If I clicked here, it's going to play three minutes in. However, what we need to do is we need to we calculated all those figures already but now we need to say okay actually start playing at this point in time so in order to do that go ahead and reference my movie which is the video itself and there's a property called current time and this is pretty much where your movie is playing at that moment and it's gonna go ahead and change every second as your movie plays but what we want to do is we want to set this equal to the variable new time so there is a time stored in this variable right here and depending on which value is where our movie is gonna start playing So pretty much just go ahead and copy all this code and don't even worry about me talking but if you want to know you know the inner workings of the video player then that's all that so pretty much wherever you click that's where your video is going to start playing now aside from that this is going to take care of the video playing however we need to take care of one other tiny little detail detail and that's we need to change the width of the progress bar depending on where they clicked so if they clicked right here we only want the blue bar to go from here to here if they clicked right here then we want the blue bar to go from here to here so in order to do that again we need to change the style or the width of the progress bar so let's just go ahead and copy that code and instead of size equals plus dot pixels what we need to do is hit mouse X and then we go ahead and we add the word pixels I don't know if that's social word just the PX so pretty much this is gonna get a value from somewhere 0 to 600 if it's in the middle let's say we click 300 then it's gonna set the width of the progress bar to 300 pixels so maybe with this line of code you can understand all this right here it's like once you understand one little thing then the rest of everything makes sense like backwards inception so now we got that clicked bar method taken care of which pretty much says okay depending on where they click play the video starting at that point in time so what we need to do is we need to add oh excuse me I just hit the microphone with my hand we need to add one more line of code and that's for this this do first function we want that to be the first function that gets called whenever we start our website or excuse me whenever our website fully loads but we don't have any function to call this function so what we need to do is we're just gonna add that window window add Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and copy this because I'm way too lazy. Add event listener, just like this. And this is pretty much going to get called as soon as our window loads. Why do I say that? Because the first parameter I'm going to type in here is load. What function do I want to call as soon as our window loads? Well, I want to call this do first function just like this right here. And remember, like I said, the last parameter is always false unless I tell you guys otherwise. So let me go ahead and save this and refresh this and see if we got a working video player. So first, let's go ahead and test our, let's see what function do we have first, our play or pause. So whenever we hit this, our video should start playing, our progress bar should change sizes, and as you can see, this play button changed to pause. So let me go ahead and scroll in a little bit. Now watch what happens when I hit pause it changes to play because now our video is paused and now we can hit play to start playing the video again and now the video is playing I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause it changes to play and as you can see our progress bar is updating every half of a second now the other thing I want to test out is as this video is playing we can go ahead and click on this default bar and our progress bar should change first of all we'll hop to that current time and change the progress bars width so if I want to click 25 percent into the movie it's gonna start playing 25 percent at this point in time and our progress bar is gonna change width if I want to click 75 percent it's gonna end yada 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 you see how it goes so basically all of our functions are working beautifully as soon as our website loads it calls this do first function which pretty much makes all our variables and then our player pause is what's gonna be sitting on this button and well 
that's pretty much it. I'm getting tired of talking. It's almost been 10 minutes. So again, I want to stress one last time. All of this code is available for free on my website. Go there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.